I saw this question on YouTube. I have my own way to do it, so I would I would like to share with you. Now, given that f of x is a continuous and a differentiable function, and this is the equation given, find f of x. Okay, well, first, if x, y, x and y are zeros, f of a zero is equal to f of a zero plus f of a zero minus zero. <clears throat> Therefore, f of, a, f of a zero is a zero. Well, I'll just create a, one more condition. Now then, <clears throat> I move this one to the left. So f of x, f of x plus y minus f of x is equal to f of y minus x, y. Now, then I divide by y everywhere. Suppose y is not zero. Then f of x plus y minus, minus f of x divided by y is equal to f of y over y minus x. Okay. Then as y approaches to zero, if y approaches to zero, then this becomes the, the derivative of uh, f with respect to x. So this is f prime of x. And this one is equal to the limit y approaches to zero, f of y over y, minus x. Now, <clears throat> so we are, we are now focusing on this. Well, uh, when y approaches to zero, that's approaching to zero. Y is approaching to zero, therefore, we can use L'Hopital's rule for the limit, right? This will be f derivative of one, a zero minus x. We know that the derivative of uh, y, uh, the derivative of, of f with respect to y is a, is a function, and uh, f prime of zero is, becomes like intercept, it is, is constant. There's a new variable, right? This is left over is a constant. So this becomes a, a k minus x, right? k is, is a real number. Then very easy to find the f of x, right? By integrate both sides with respect to x, that is kx minus half x square plus c. And uh, since f of a zero is zero, f of zero is zero, which means that zero, 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 c is equal to zero. Right? So we find, therefore, f of x is equal to k x minus half x over two. K is zero. It's a real number. So that is a that is the answer for this question. See, yeah, I think uh, I think in my way is quite. Uh, Quite neat, and uh, and shorter. Now, I saw another question on YouTube, which is similar. This one. F of x is f of x plus f of y plus x y. Given f of four is is ten, find f of two thousand one. 
So this is a 2001 uh, Olympiad in Europe. So that's why it's uh, 2001. Now, these two questions are very, very similar. So I just save same doing, right? Uh, I just find that x equal to x equal to kx plus half x square, right? Okay. Yeah, that's a solution from uh, last example. Then uh, we can use the condition that f of 4 is equal to 4k, right? Plus uh, 16 over 2. So this means that this is equal to 10, given 10, right? So this is k equal to half. It's very easy. Therefore, the f of 2001 is equal to half 2001. Plus two two thousand one square. So we can draw two thousand one out. So one plus uh, yeah two thousand one. Right? So this is equal to students. So this is two thousand one multiplied by one thousand one. Right? equal to something like 2003. See? I think this type of question uh, done by the same way as I as I did uh, the last example. This is, uh, I think it's, it's very interesting. I'm using the definition of a derivatives. Thank you for your watching.